Okay, all I'm gonna do is put a little downward pressure. So I'll actually pull everything kind of back towards me. And now I'm using this leg as a little bit more support. On a larger rifle, it's still gonna kind of rock around a little bit. But what I'm doing again is I'm pushing down on the rifle. So what I'll do is I'll start low and then I'll actually push down on the rifle, use my weight, create tension. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Instead of using muscle, I'll start low just like Will at 100, and I'll create tension and that locks it in. Now I'm also kind of pushing and pulling, right? So I'm not using a whole lot of muscle. I'm not using anything to lift the rifle. I'm actually kind of pushing down on the tripod. So I'm actually loading the tripod. I'm putting my weight on it. I'm letting the, the tripod support my front weight. So step one, grab the tripod and lean on it. Step two, get behind the rifle. And now I'm gonna tighten it down and now I'm gonna get up on target. And see how that locks in? And that's standing. And I'm able to hold, for the most part, the inner edge of that target. One of the drawbacks to having the leg in the rear is that you have to be able to clear your magazine. That's the only downside to this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, all I'm gonna do is put a little downward pressure. Okay, go ahead and show what that recoil impulse looked like. And that's the benefit of having this back here like that. You see how that locked up? It locked, it, it like just sitting around me touching, it was like all over the place. But as soon as I put a little downward pressure, I'm creating a mechanical stop and then it stabilizes out. One of the, one of the other things about using this leg to the rear is it gives you a lot of, it gives you a lot of other options that you can do. Right, so now, I mean, that's stable as fuck right there. So you see what I'm using there? Hmm. And then when we start getting into some bigger slopes, like really high angle stuff. Now I can get in here and use, this, use the same thing. Just kind of stack this bag up in here. And now I'm like super stable again. So I'm actually using the leg back here to help me out with a little stability. Um, when you guys see, you guys ever shoot off of like a reverse, reverse rooftop? So it would look like this. Right? Now we're able to use that big bag in the back here. Make sense? And then you could also traverse quite a ways down that way. The other way to use a tripod is not it's good, it gives you some, you can kind of load into it a little bit, especially if you're shooting downhill, I like this. I like having the leg in the front. Um, this does give you a little bit better ability to traverse. Here we go. The, the recoil impulse is just gonna be a little bit more higher, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Put a little tension on it. Okay, it just kind of hopped up a little higher. It just kind of went like this, but it settled right back down so I could still see what was going on. But there's no real right or wrong way. I just prefer to have that leg kind of sticking back, back at me like this. And you can, as you notice, I'll sometimes put my foot on the, on the rear of the tripod as well. That just makes super, super, super stable.